Hello everybody, it's me, Nate. I'm gonna show you a quick tutorial on how to um, animate legs. Nah, just kidding, animate walking. Uh, it's the same thing. I'm sorry, I just, I have the energy to create a tutorial right now. Yeah, a tutorial video. So, yeah, here you go. Here is a tutorial on how to animate walking in Blender. <laughs> All right, so, um, <coughs> Jesus Christ, I'm so sick, sorry. Uh, here is the uh, first step. Get your first um, kind of movement. This is going to be uh, one of the steps. So, you know, uh, don't ask. I know the, the uh, posing is terrible, but just you're gonna have to deal with this because this is it. Now the first step to making a walking animation is going to be copying your first keyframe and putting it at the end. Uh, I'd like to clarify, this tutorial is not similar to the one that I've made for Moon Animator. And everything I'm going to say here will not apply for Moon Animator. Well, it can be applied for Moon Animator, but I wouldn't recommend it. Anyways, that is copy this part again, and over here, press Ctrl, Shift, and V to paste it, which is going to give you a very basic and very bland and very boring and, you know, just garbage walking animation, but you'll have to, you know, deal with this for now. The next step is uh, pressing V on your keyboard and switching this to automatic. Uh, this won't do much for now, but it will have quite an impact. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go to, um, I have my mine on a hundred keyframes, but you can have this as as many keyframes as you want, or as little as you want. Uh, I'm going to go to the 25, uh, 25 section and I'm going to um, firstly fix the posing, because the posing will look a bit off, so close and the, uh, close the arms a bit more on the torso, uh, go to 75, which is the other section, and close it up, so now it looks a bit better. Now, for the next part, what you want to do is you want to kind of firstly you want to keep your you want to keep your character's foot on the ground at all times uh, on the foot that is going to go backwards like this. All right, and now on this foot, which is going to be the one that is going to be moving, uh, what you want to do is that here you want to kind of lift it up a little bit and just give it that kind of... give it some movement though. Yeah, see that? Now it kind of has that like little swing. Or, you know, whatever you want to call it. And here you can just copy this and go to whatever frame that you think will work. Control shift v Don't mind. FUCK! 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 Alright. And look at that! It is magnificent, but not magnificent yet. Yeah. You can uh, make everything automatic if you want. I do recommend you make everything automatic. Wow, look at that! Smooth movement, just like how I like it. Now here to the 25 mark, I recommend you add... Just the arm that is going to swing forward will usually be a little bit further forward than the one that's going backwards. So just add a little, you know, a little bit more movement. So now, yeah, see, it's not really symmetrical and that's what you want. You don't want it to be symmetrical or else it will look robotic, unnatural and all of the above. So now you kind of see like it has kind of some, some swing to it. That's cool. Uh, on the other arm that is going to go backwards in this motion here, uh, you can add a more back motion. So now it has a bit of an almost cartoony vibe. Uh, you don't need to follow my instructions, of course, cause, but you know if you clicked on this video, that's because you want to follow my instructions. You know, obviously, because I'm such a good teacher. Anyways, copy, copy. Well, the keyframes here, copy those, and then um, paste them here. 
so that it does the same thing as you know, here. Now, for the most important part of this, uh, you want to kind of move the torso up in the. You want to kind of move the torso up in this section here. Uh, notice how this foot here is moving up, and the other one is forcing against the ground. That is where it's around this bit that you want kind of the torso to move upwards, and maybe have a little bit of a backwards motion. So you do the same thing here. Just go over to like yeah, I'll, I'll just put it on ten, just rounding it up. And here, you can see it's actually kind of coming along. Uh, as I said, this I'm kind of this animation is kind of giving it away more, you know, uh, confident vibes. But you can make your walk animation any way you kind of want. I want mine to be, you know, confident and whatnot. So that's how I'm gonna have it. And yeah, so just add as many little bits and bobs that you want. Obviously, don't exaggerate too much. Just, that's just gonna be stupid. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, so that that's a lot of the that's a big part as well in in animation. It's that you wanna really experiment because uh, that's, that's quite important in animation is to just experiment look at what works look at what doesn't work and just you know see what happens uh, for example here the legs are way too close to one another so I'm gonna kind of stretch them out a little bit as you can see you can kind of see the swaying motion uh, here that is going to maybe not be preferable for most people, so you know, just try and keep it straight uh, while also not touching the other leg. Now you don't actually notice the swaying much, much, but you do notice that it slows down, so if that happens, just, you know, fix it. On the, uh, using the top leg constraint, whenever you have any kind of force being caught, Foot, just kind of make make it have a bit of a um, a little bit of a tremble, I guess you could say, so that it kind of shows off the fact that there's force being put into the leg, and you kind know, of do the same thing the opposite. So copy that and uh, paste it here. Maybe not. That looks a bit weird. And then, you know, you can make the head bob a little bit, so, I don't know, 25 frames forward, have it move down a little bit. Hey, please have a water. Sir, please you need to stop there, children. Please. And over to the final part. Uh, now that I have my walking animation, I'm not really proud of it, I don't like it. I like the level of it, but... You know, the rest I'm not really proud of. Anyways, uh, you can, can make it all automatic, or not, you know, all of that. And now you may notice here that it doesn't really loop correctly. Uh, this is an issue a lot of people uh, have reported to me. Oh, it doesn't loop uh, smoothly, whatnot. Uh, it doesn't move smoothly and whatnot back to the original position. And the way you can fix this is by uh, making the end keyframe a little bit more earlier than you know, where the actual end keyframes are. You don't move the end keyframes, but you, you'll, you'll see. As you can see now, the, the movement, definitely, and you can also move these keyframes for a bit. Now you can see that there's also a jump now. You don't really want to have these kind of jumps between, so do keep in mind that you want to keep it smooth, so just you know don't cut it too much or it's gonna look bad and just yeah so this looks you know decent it looks like it decently loops well and and then you can export it to roblox and you're done 
you're done. You have your walking animation. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, and you know, enjoy this video if you enjoyed this one. And thanks for watching. See ya.